Hello and welcome. Today I'm with Nismo TV and we're going to be discussing this car behind me. This is the Nissan GTR Nismo GT3 and this is just going to be a general overview of the vehicle. Now I'm going to be making a few videos on this GT3 car, but for more information and for more videos, head over to Nismo's channel and you'll find a link in the description. So let's talk about the body of the car. Now obviously weight is critically important in racing, and this car is only weighing about 1300 kilograms, which is only 100 kilograms heavier than my Integra. Now the weight is kept down using carbon composite body panels and doors, and all of the windows are polycarbonate. Now as you can see, the body of the car is covered in aerodynamic enhancements, and these are important for creating downforce, such as this front splitter and these side dive planes. I'm going to have a future video explaining some of these different features and how they work, but just know that the GT3 car can produce as much as 1,000 kilograms of downforce at 200 kilometers per hour. Under the hood, we'll find a twin turbo 3.8 liter V6 engine capable of producing up to 550 horsepower at 6,400 RPM and 650 newton meters of torque at 4,000 RPM. The engine features dual overhead cams and variable valve timing on the intake. The power is sent to the rear wheels using a four plate clutch which is connected to a six-speed sequential transmission operated by the driver using pneumatic paddle shifters. At the front of the car, we've got six-piston Brembo brakes, and you can actually adjust the braking bias front to rear of the vehicle. At the rear, the GT3 car features the same brakes on the road-going GTR. It also has four-way adjustable shocks at all four corners, so you can adjust high-speed and low-speed bump and rebound. All of this is covered up by 18-inch aluminum-forged raised wheels matched with 325 millimeter wide tires. So let's take a look on the inside of the car. The interior has been stripped down to save weight. We've got a full roll cage, bucket seat, and a five-point Nismo harness. Sitting in the driver's seat, it's a fairly reclined position, and you've got a bit of a narrow view in front of you to see what's ahead. This is a Sparco racing seat, and we've got our upshift and downshift pneumatic paddle shifters on the left and right. I'm sitting in a Sparco seat as well with a five-point Nismo harness. So let's take a look at the steering wheel and some of the driver controls. Up here in the top left, we've got our flashers. So if you're coming up on a slower car that you need to pass, which may be in a different racing class, you can let them know that you're coming up behind them. You've got left hand and right hand turn signals. So if a faster car is coming up behind you, you can indicate which side you'll remain on as they pass. Radio to talk with your race engineer. Drink if you're thirsty. Reset buttons to reset any alarms that may have gone off. You've got page and scrolls to change the display and you've got a pit button which will give you a rev limiter so you're not going to exceed a certain speed uh, in the pit lane. Looking at the center console, you've got your main power here up at the top. So if you want to start the car, you'll turn on your main power, make sure your fuel pump's on, turn on your ignition, and then hold the starter to start the engine. Some other switches we've got, we've got our headlights, our rain lights if it's raining, wiper and fan, a fire button here so if, you need, if there is a fire in the cabin, you can uh, start the extinguisher. You've got your fuel pump, ABS, and your paddle shifters. This is the traction control mapping here at the bottom. So at zero, the traction control will be off, and you can make it more aggressive by dialing it up. Here you've got your ABS mapping. So at one, you're going to have that be used like in the rain, and then up to 12 for if it was really dry, or 12 is actually if it was off. You've got your engine mapping, so you can change the amount of boost going to the engine. So on the lower center console, we've got our reverse lever, as well as our brake bias distribution, so you can change the amount of braking done by the front or the rear. There's also a driver selector, so you can let the race engineers know which driver is currently in the car. So, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And for more information on this car, head over to Nismo's channel. The link's in the description.